In this video, we're going to talk about the themes and appearance options you have for your WordPress website. To begin, when you're in your dashboard of WordPress, you can actually go over and take a look at themes as far as under appearance. Now by default, whenever you first install WordPress, it's going to choose something along the lines of 2020 something. The 2020 is a representation of the year as far as the theme is concerned and what year of the update of WordPress it's referencing. So you can see by default you have several themes already pre-installed here. But what you can also do is come over and click on add new theme. Now if I choose to add a new theme it's going to bring up a bunch of the free themes that you might like to add in. And what you can do is you can actually preview your theme and take a look at how the theme will look regarding information. And then if you choose to, you can install the theme. One thing to point out to everybody is some themes are pay to use. Not all of them are free, so you want to pay attention to that. But let's say I like this uh, Cadence website right here. I can choose to install, and WordPress will think for a moment, and now what will happen is if I come over back into my themes you, and click, you can now see that it's an option here of the four themes I have installed here. If I want to, I can choose to activate. And now this is the main theme. And it'll actually pop up and let you know, hey, there's a new theme activated. I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab. And here you can see now I'm seeing the new theme being applied here. And down at the bottom, you can see even it references it. Adding a theme and just editing it is probably one of the easier elements here. However, just be aware, you actually have what is called a theme editor. And as you get more comfortable working in WordPress, or if you get a background in PHP, you can actually come in and start to edit the different files as far as the layout and design of your website. So with that, you have the overall PHP documents for each of the individual areas that make up the theme. I did include this on the Blackboard website for the theme handbook, or the theme development handbook, that if for any of you who do know PHP, which was not a requirement, you can come in and actually use a theme as a baseline, and then you can start building upon it and changing your layout and design. This can give you a very unique website and a very unique looking WordPress design and layout.